The first dish that I'm going to feature in this production is the Nigerian jollof rice. The Nigerian jollof rice is the primary or the premier uh, party food uh, in, in Nigeria. And it, it is a dish that has expression in various culinary, uh, culinary cultures. Uh, it's called pilau rice in India, uh, culinary culture. It's called paella uh, in, amongst the Spanish. It's called polof amongst the Russian. And in Nigeria, it's called the um, jollof rice. And it is the progenitor of the African-American jambalaya. Now, I'm anxious to start cooking. And uh, I have here uh, a medium-sized pot. And I'm just going to tip my cooking uh, oil into it. You can use any type of... Uh, vegetable uh, cooking oil that uh, you prefer but on this occasion I'm just using uh, sunflower oil and then I'm just going to tip my rice into into the uh, oil and after I've tipped in the rice I now put in uh, the chopped onions this is uh, a medium-sized um, onions and um, I find that onions works brilliantly uh, with with rice. Next, I'm going to crumble two vegetable uh, stock uh, cubes into the contents of the pot, and then I just add two level spoons, dessert spoons of of salt. I then stir. I think I'll increase the heat slightly just to get it going. What I'm essentially aiming for is to begin to get the um, onions to brown and for the flavor of the onion to be infused into um, the grains of rice, into the rice. So the next thing for me to do is just to put uh, roughly a liter uh, of 1.5 liters of warm water into the pot. And then I'll spoon in the uh, alafia uh, tomato cooking sauce. I'm just going to use roughly half the content of this jar. I'm not going to use uh, the entire content of the jar. I'm just going to use roughly three quarters of it. And then I will add the mixed vegetables, just a medium size of frozen mis mixed vegetables uh, will do. I level it and then I'll just allow it to steam through. Um, it is critical that you don't stay at this stage because if you stay, you excite the starch and the, um, rice, the, the, the rice begins to burn at the base. And so you just resist the urge uh, to stay and then you cover it with a tight lid and leave it on the back burner to cook through. I'm going to look at the progress of the jollof rice. Yes, this is the result I'm looking for. You can see how colorful the dish is looking and it's now safe to begin to stir the rice. I'm very pleased with this. I'll just put this aside and go on to the next.